Let's go through the process of making a custom uniform in Envision. For this exercise, you're going to need an external image editor, preferably one that can open .tga format files. I will be using paint.net on Windows 10. It's a free image editing software that's pretty basic, but gives us a good enough tool set to work with and opens a wide variety of image formats. You can use any image as a texture for any part of the uniform, but you'll have better success if your image maps properly onto the 3D model. We can do this by using one of our existing uniform images as a template. We can find the existing uniforms in our documents directory. All the default uniforms provided by Envision and all the uniforms that have been imported into Envision are stored in your documents directory. Open your documents directory, Envision, Uniforms, James or Sally, depending on the 3D model that you want to use. James is for the male model and Sally is for the female model. Each uniform in Envision is represented by a folder here, and the folders contain all the textures that you need to build up a uniform. Choose the uniform that you want to use as a template. I will be using the standard Envision uniform. Make a copy of that folder using Ctrl-C or whatever method you normally use, and paste it somewhere that makes sense for you. I will be pasting it on the desktop. Now that we have a copy of our uniform, we can edit the images in it without worrying about affecting the originals. Open the copied folder and have a look at the contents. These are all the files that make up a single uniform. I'm going to sort by type to keep the actual image files together. This folder contains several types of files. The preview and banner images are used to preview the uniform and to display behind the uniform in the uniform editor, respectively. We also have the material files here. This is how Envision keeps track of which images to use for which uniform region. We don't need to worry about those for this tutorial. Each texture has an alpha texture associated with it. These are generated automatically by Envision and you don't have to worry about them. Then of course we have the textures themselves. Let's open up the shirt front. This should give you an idea of how the image file gets mapped onto the 3D model, how the top of the image wraps over the shoulders and the sides of the image start wrapping around the sides of the chest. Let's make some changes to this image to make it our own. Now let's save it. Open up Envision and the Uniform Editor and create a new uniform. Scroll down to the current region and change it to shirt front, then we can load our new texture. Navigate to the copy of the uniform that we have created and select the image that we just saved. And that's how easy it is to add your own textures to create a custom Envision uniform. Notice how in our example, the lettering gets cut off. It might take some trial and error to find out exactly where the texture ends when on the 3D model. The thing to notice is how big the upper body segment is. It covers this entire torso down to the hips. This tends to be a lot longer than typical modern uniform tops, so there is a good chance that you will have to match the color of your pants into the bottom portion of the shirt front and back to make the look consistent. I'm not going to go through the entire uniform. The process is exactly the same for every other component. A couple of things to watch out for when creating your uniform. Legs and arms each have separate textures so you can have full flexibility there, but they are not identical. You'll have to use mirror images if you want to have the same pattern on each. In contrast to that, Envision currently only has a single texture for the hands and a single texture for the feet, which means that they always have to be the same color. This also means that patterns should work in both directions and should be symmetrical. 
The shoulders cut across both shirt front and shirt back regions. So if they are different colors or you have different shoulder straps such as in the Envision uniform, then you will have to make changes to both textures to get the desired effect. Once you have updated each section of the uniform that you want to edit, you can save your uniform and it will be ready to go in your show. You can also export it and share it with friends. We hope you enjoy using the Envision Uniform Editor and we look forward to seeing all of your wonderful designs.